Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and I'm back for another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC competitive moveset guide video. And today we're going to be taking a look at a viewer requested Pokemon. Actually, a couple of you were saying, why don't you take a look at Greedon? And while I personally at first was under the impression that Route 1 Rodent Pokemon were notoriously bad, which they are, I assume this one was too, but I couldn't be further from, further from the truth. Like, this thing is actually kind of busted. Now... If you guys are new to VGC or if you're new to the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I have made this channel pretty much exclusively to share VGC uh, with people who are trying to learn or people who are already part of the community and just want to watch some VGC content. I'm going to be putting that out for you guys as much as I can. In fact, all these videos this week are pre-recorded as I am on vacation in Texas at the moment that this goes up. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. But let's get right into this. Greedent. It's a normal type Pokemon, and it's got 120 HP, 95 attack, 95 defense, 55 special attack, 75 special defense, and 20 speed. Now that 20 speed seems bad on paper, but I'll get into why that's actually amazing for it in a couple of minutes here. As for the abilities, it has two. It has Cheek Pouch, and it has Gluttony, and I believe Cheek Pouch is its default ability, and Gluttony is its hidden ability. Now, Cheek Pouch on this Pokemon is like objectively better than Gluttony and that's because Cheek Pouch restores 33% of your HP every time you consume a berry. So that's the effects of your berry. So if it's a citrus berry you get 25 plus 33 so 58 HP or 58% HP restored every time you eat a citrus berry. Or if you have something like a Salak berry you get the speed boost and then you get 33% of your HP restored. So that's that's kind of busted on the right Pokemon. And I think this might be just the right Pokemon for that. This first moveset is Snorlax Inspired. Now, if you don't know about past VGC seasons, Snorlax was notoriously a strong belly drum user in like VGC 17, VGC 18, and occasionally in VGC 19. It would run like almost max HP, almost max defense, and just a little bit of attack investment, if not zero attack investment with the rest in special defense. Now, the reason this is, is because Belly Drum with Stab normal moves is knocking out pretty much everything or two-shotting everything, uh, regardless of the fact that you have no investment in your attack stat, because at, after a Belly Drum, you're at plus six. It's a ridiculous attack stat coming off of Snorlax base 110, I believe. And while this thing has lower attack, I believe that in this format where Pokemon generally have lower defenses and there aren't as many really bulky Pokemon, and also the power creep isn't really there anymore, uh, this Pokemon can honestly do without running any attack investment and still get away with it. However, if you do want to run some attack investment, if there are some specific Pokemon that you want to knock out as the season progresses and we learn what's good in the metagame, uh, go ahead and add that to your attack investment. But 244 HP, 252 defense, 12 special defense with Cheek Pouch, Belly Drum, Body Slam or Facade, Stomping Tantrum and Ice Punch is this set, uh, and the item is the Citrus Berry. Once again, the Citrus Berry is going to proc after your Belly Drum because you're at an even HP stat. Um, so you'll go down to 50%, get 25% from your Citrus Berry, that's 75% right there, and you're going to get 33 more percent to get you up to 100% after the fact. And if, you know, you take, <laughs> if you end up not Belly Drumming, but you end up going below 50% HP uh, for another reason, you can, since you're restoring 58 HP, uh, that's another 8% where, or that's, yeah, that's another 8% uh, that you can restore under 50% that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Like, this thing, like, they nerfed Snorlax so hard in this game. This thing is honestly better than Snorlax, because Snorlax has, like, 30 speed. It's not as good in Trick Room, and it can't make use of, like, Figgy Berries anymore, because where they used to heal 50% of your HP, they only heal 33% now. So this thing has, like, a built-in Pinch Berry. Anyways, so this is really cool. Uh, the Pokemon is so naturally bulky that it's going to be able to take most hits, and the reason I decided to go physically defensive uh, with an Impish Nature is because there are definitely going to be some Snorlax teams still running around, and they're going to be running a minus speed nature, while you could run a relaxed nature to be slower than them uh, under Trick Room. Uh, so that way you you know you go first under trick room there it, there are some situations where you can bait them into going for belly drum the turn you go for trick room and you don't go for trick room and you knock them out outside of the trick room because you're faster than them so that's just some fun tech um but yeah uh as for body slam or facade body slam is a base 85 normal type move which you do get stab on because this is a normal type pokemon 
and it has the chance to paralyze, which is really cool. However, if you decide to sacrifice some of that initial power from Body Slam and go with the 70 base power facade, one of the best ways to deal with a physical attacker in this uh, format is by burning it. And if you end up getting burnt, Facade's power goes from 70 to 140. It doubles in power if you're toxic, uh, if you're paralyzed, if you're burnt, it just it just doubles. And that gets this Pokemon to insane heights as to how much damage it can do. Sonic Tantrum is meant to hit those steel types that you would otherwise get walled by. Uh, ones that come to mind are Aegislash. Aegislash uh, is both ghost and steel, so it resists your normal type stab, or it doesn't resist your normal type stab. It's completely immune to your normal type stab. Uh, so Stomping Tantrum is going to be a super effective hit to just knock it out in one shot. I believe even behind, um, not protect, but even in its shield form, you should KO it because of how high your attack stat's going to be. But yeah, that's just, it's such a cool Pokemon. I, I can't stop gushing about it. Ice Punch, that's just a nice coverage move. You could honestly replace it with Protect if you felt like it. Personally, I think that um, you could run this with like Mimikyu and just go for the Trick Room straight up and not really worry about it. If you get burnt, it's whatever because you could be running Facade. Ice Punch is just a nice way to hit things like um, flying types that are also going to be resisting your uh, <laughs> also going to be resisting your uh, normal stab. So like Corviknight comes to mind. It's Steel and Flying type, so Stomping Tantrum doesn't hit it. And it's going to be resisting body slam so ice punch is going to be uh, a lot of damage off on that boy and dragons don't appreciate it it's initial power in case you end up coming across something like uh what's his name what's his name he's a new pokemon dragapult dragapult is so common in the format right now that just getting an ice punch off is going to be insane while it can be hit by stomping tantrum uh ice punch is just it's so good it's so good but yeah uh that's the first set please excuse me if you hear noise in the background i'm home right now I, i'm usually you know at college but yeah uh the next set that we're going to be going into is this set right here it's an assault vest set and while this isn't as powerful as the uh, belly drum set it does have some pretty decent coverage psychic fangs is nice for breaking things like aurora veil uh reflect and light screen which you see every once in a while in vgc and uh, it's also a nice way to hit those fighting types that would otherwise threaten you uh, under a trick room you are going to be able to uh, get some pretty decent damage off on them and with this much hp that much special defense with that assault vest on it you're going to be soaking up special hits on the other side of the spectrum uh so that's just it's just so nice uh body slam facade it's the same purpose as the previous one you're not going to be doing as much damage but uh you're still you're still going to want a normal type stab and since return and frustration were removed from the game this is the best that this pokemon gets Stomping Tantrum, once again, is a coverage move meant to hit the same Pokemon as before. Aegislash is going to be really common in the format, along with other Steel types like... I feel like Berserker might find a spot in the format, but uh, I, I'm not 100% sure. And Wild Charge is meant to hit those bulky Water types like Milotic and uh, Gyarados. So, yeah, this set, not, not as powerful, but it's going to be bulkier on the special side, and I kind of like that. I feel like this might be more of a physically oriented generation of EGC though because of uh, the nerfs to intimidate and the buffs to things like oblivious and uh inner focus so yeah this is gonna be the assault vest set and I always like to throw in what I refer to as sort of the cheese set and looking at this guy it looks like he likes cheese a bit he's a chunky boy he's gonna want the cheese this is my salic berry belly drum set now this might not be the most effective one but it's definitely gonna be a fun one to cheese your opponents with we're jolly max speed we have four hp to get us to get ourselves to an even hp stat 252 attack and 252 speed now i know we only have 20 base speed but if we go for a substitute turn one and a belly drum turn two we're gonna get plus one speed as well as the recovery from our cheek pouch ability and from there we just hit things with belly drum not belly drum we hit things with body slammer facade and stomping tantrum and if you're running this next to a tailwind support pokemon like corviknight or pelipper then yeah you can honestly just start wreaking havoc on the opponent's team with Probably the fastest, chunkiest Peter Griffin looking squirrel they've ever seen. But I want to know what you guys think about Greedent in the comment section down below. Do you think it is the best Route 1 uh, rodent Pokemon we've seen so far? Or does that title still belong to something like Diggersby? Or I think it's just Diggersby. I think Diggersby is its only, com uh, its only competition. So yeah. Or do you think Diggersby is better or not? I don't know. I, I feel like this is better than Diggersby in this generation and as a Trick Room attacker. But yeah, uh, 
If you guys want to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed what I brought you today, then go ahead and do that. I'd really appreciate it. We've been growing like crazy recently. I appreciate all the support and all the people who've been joining my Discord. Uh, that's linked in the description, by the way. Join my Discord. We're trying to get like trades going and battles and whatever. Um, and all the people who have been following me on Twitch. That, once again, is linked in the description. I've been growing like crazy and it's just so cool. I love all the support you guys have been giving me. And it's really, really giving me the motivation to put out videos like this. Uh, you can expect some more videos in the coming week if I can manage to pre-record all these in time before I go on vacation. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call guys. Everyone have a nice night, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.